All right, uh, here's a little video I have of a particular uh, computer fan that I found. It's really, really powerful. Um, this is sort of your typical uh, 0.15 amp. I have it running already. Uh, it just sits there. It's not blowing a whole lot of air. I have this little cardboard roller. You can see it's pushing it away. <coughs> but uh, I had uh, an incident with one of these where I was demoing it for somebody and when I went to turn it, the gyro effect took hold of me and my finger got caught in it, broke a blade, chopped me up pretty good. Uh, so I removed the blades off of, I have three of these fans, you can get them on eBay for five bucks. Uh, this is a part, all the information off of the back of the fan. Uh, it's a Dell part number there. Um, this was the one that uh, broke my finger a little bit and it's got a metal drum that a plastic drum sat over. You can see here. And if you take it, take the little clip off the bottom, you can remove the drum. Let's see if we can do this here. Give me a second. You see the strip magnet in there, uh, four poles and your coil, and this is a microprocessor driven board underneath the plastic. I haven't taken the base apart yet because that's kind of what it keeps it pretty solid in there with that pressed in bearing at the bottom. Um, I just wanted to demo this for some of the guys I was telling about this motor. So like we see this, we got 12 volts here. Um, see how much power that's pushing so now let's see I made this where all grounds are connected together and I could just switch over let me turn the power off for a second okay and it takes a second for this thing to uh, fire up so I'm gonna quickly put the power in and grab it all right particular ones. This one is the same as this. I have a mounting platform that I glued on the bottom and then I can screw different rotors on top with magnets. We'll fire that one up next. Uh, these things do 6900 and change RPMs. Okay, this is going to be This is going to be this one here, so I'm going to disconnect the power, get this on. Okay, I'm just going to hold it. So that's its top RPM. It bounces a little bit back and forth. It doesn't have the, the load on it anymore, so it sort of has a little bit of a bouncing until it levels out. Um, this is the current while it's at idle without any load basically other than itself. Now if I take this plug out over here, uh, let me slow it down just a little bit, and we'll watch the amps climb as it goes. 
pounds. So 200 milliamps it climbed up to just to get itself running. Now with the load on it like this rotor, um, there's a lot of gyroscopic effect if I lift this up, you know, it wants to twist and turn. So I'm going to do some gyroscope experiments. I'm going to take this uh, plastic rotor off the bottom of this and do some experiments with one of these on each end of a uh, platform to see what I, can, what I can come up with. Now this one here, let's see if we get it spinning up, plug it in. Just watch the amps first because it's loaded so it should pull more amps to climb up to top speed. Went up to oh, about an amp and a half. Then it slows down and loads down. See, it's, it's just a flat rotor, and it's blowing a little bit of air. Um, but it's doing 6,900 RPMs, and it's trying to regulate itself. So I imagine if you had picked up coils uh, on the mag and loaded it up, that it's going to try to bring itself back up to speed. So it'll be an interesting uh, project. But I just wanted to show these particular motors are extremely powerful. This fan got to be really careful with it if you, if you buy one or two whatever uh, this will chop you up uh, really good uh, it's a really hardened plastic it seems compared to uh, the cheaper fans it's, 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 it's not a toy so if you want to mess with one of these be careful with it and thanks